Gujarat there was a band called uh, Megalodon with a song called Cessation tell you what Africa the dark continent certainly got some dark music which you're going to be hearing pretty soon some really heavy bands <laughs> and maybe a bit of news well not news but just a bit of general chat that I've been getting on certain pages and uh, some of my own experiences back in Africa about why metal is so fucking underground there I mean, as you've heard from the show so far, we've got the talent. It's definitely the talent. These, any of these bands, or should I say, 99% of them can uh, easily come over to any one of the metal festivals here, or any metal club here, and stay, hold its weight with the bands from these countries. And some of them have. Back in the 80s or the late 80s and even in the early 90s there might have been bands like VOD were already playing in uh, international waters. They were, they, were, they, were leaving, they were playing outside of South Africa and getting they had an underground following in other countries, mainly in Europe I think. So I certainly don't understand why these bands are not um, coming over here and playing. What I'd love to, what I'd really love to do is get a, an all African festival going over here in London, metal festival, feature maybe 10 or 20 bands, and who knows, you know, that may be, may be on the cards for the future, but as you know what, it takes a lot of work to organize that kind of stuff, but you never know what can happen, this is a, this is just the beginning. So we're going to check a band out called Aiming at Shadows and a song called We Fight. This is the one and only Dilly Gaff Radio.
This is Delegate Radio streaming out of London, UK. Next up, we're going to feature a band from back in the old days as well called Urban Assault. Also, a bunch of friends of mine, uh, quite a famous band in South Africa, sadly no longer exist. Um, the song is called Urban Assault as well. This to Dilly Gaff Radio.
Another fine example of some typical African metal, a band called Ramuda out of um, Botswana. A song called Last Night Kiss. So as you all know, this is the African uh, and hard rock metal show on Dilly Gaff Radio. Hoping to create some awareness for the African metal bands. For those of you who have stayed tuned this long, glad you're here, glad you're enjoying the show. You must admit, we've had a, a wealth of great bands so far and we've still got quite a few to go. But st- uh, if you can't stick around for the whole show, there will be a podcast made later on and a playlist will be made available so you can see what bands we actually did feature. Next up, a band called Calamity and a song called Crossing a Burning Bridge. Calamity coming out of Pretoria in Gi- uh, near Johannesburg in South Africa. 
Without further ado, we're going to check up a band called uh, Misery Chord next from their latest album, a song called Requiem of the Newborn. My friend Ralph is the drummer of this band. And they recently uh, went and recorded the vocals for this album in a studio in Sweden, or I think it was, Sweden maybe, with uh, Andy LaRock, who is, uh, you know, the, <coughs> the guitarist of King Diamond. And the vocalist from At The Gates, Thomas, did the vocals for this album. So, there's another example for you, a metal band in Africa branching out and doing uh, seeking help from international metal artists. Pretty good idea, don't you think? Trying to go overseas to get your album recorded. I know it costs money and it's not just the recording of the album, it's the flights and all that. And uh, I suppose it uh, can be done, can't it? There's living proof. So let's check them out. Let's record in a song called Requiem of the Newborn. record with Requiem of the Newborn like I said they were recently over in I think it was Sweden where they had Andy LaRock from King Diamond produce their album and it was uh, Thomas Lindbergh on vocals from At The Gates so 
So next up we're going to check out a band called Chromium out of South Africa and a song called World of Lies. This is the one and only Telegraph Radio streaming rock and metal 24-7 all year long every year. Streaming out of London, UK today. We also have DJs who stream out of Australia, out of the USA and out of the world. <laughs> Tune to Dilligaf Radio. Chromium and World of Lights. This is Deligaf Radio. Um, <coughs> one thing I must say, I mentioned that guy earlier, Edward Banks, who's busy writing the book um, Metal, Heavy Metal Africa. And uh, he's just uh, returned to London from Nairobi. I think it was Nairobi? Or was it? Yeah, Nairobi. 
Might have been. I'm probably going to hook up with him again tomorrow sometime if I can get hold of him. Anyway, um, he was there and he told me, even the last time he went to Africa, he spoke to a lot of the bands there and uh, how many of them are speak so highly of the bands from Southern and South Africa. Um, naming a lot of the bands from South Africa as their influences, bands that influenced them and made them form bands, which is pretty cool to hear especially names like VOD and Odyssey and Ragnarok and those kind of names come up. It's great to hear things like that, man, you know, because back in the day we didn't even know that uh, people from the rest of Africa were listening to us or even got to hear us. And the other bands, you know, Urban Assault, Retribution Denied, Debauchery, Metamorphosis, all those bands, man, I think they were all pioneers of the scene, sacrificed record. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to do this <coughs> and uh, give those bands some exposure. I wish we had this kind of exposure back in the day. And I think uh, what uh, South Africa or the rest of Africa needs is uh, an FM station or that can uh, punt these bands live because uh, not everyone has internet in South Africa and in Africa. They needed, they needed a station and a TV channel dedicated solely to playing metal and rock bands. Next up a band called Zombies Ate My Girlfriend. With Anarchy in the RSA.
like to welcome my friend Leon Sonic Terrorist Erasmus just tuned in from South Africa he's a sound engineer a musician and a recording artist in South Africa responsible for recording quite a few of the bands you've heard today glad to have you listening in brew in fact this song in the background by brothering King Atlantic was recorded at Leon's studio in Mega Music in Johannesburg. Like I was saying earlier, it's so good to have a metal Metal for Africa website, metalforafrica.com. A wealth of information on there about what's going on with metal in Africa. If you look on Facebook, you can search for, just type African Metal or something like that in the search bar. There's a African Metal Archives page on there. There's one called African Metal. We'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on in there. Quite a few likes they have on that page, 1,420 likes. So it's good to see things alive and kicking down on the dark continent. We have Eyes in the chat room. Uh, she's the owner of Telegraph Radio. Um, she just said that she's joined the African Metal Pages tonight, which is fucking cool because she's down in uh, Darwin, Australia. And I urge all you people in Africa that are in bands or that know people in bands to uh, tune in to Telegraph Radio regularly because um, we play rock and metal 24-7 on here. And you should send your songs in to Deligaf Radio because they will play on a regular rotation with all our DJs and expose you to the rest of the world. to say uh, hi and welcome to Warhorse. Just uh, coming to the chat room. How's it going? Quite a coincidence that uh, Warhorse has just joined us in the chat room and the next song up is uh, from a band called Wargrave. <laughs> and it's a demo song and it's uh, called From the Shadows. This is Delegate Radio from London, UK. My mistake, it's a band called Quibus. Very famous band, Quibus, and a song called Duet Straf, which for those of you who don't know means death sentence. Nach der Dieter Schlag, 
tuned to Dilly Gaff Radio.
Right, there was a band out of Cape Town, I think, called uh, Forgive Us Not, and a song called Aura of Nightmares. Up before them, we had Wargrave with From the Shadows. This next song goes out to uh, Mr. Alan Nolan, sitting up in Wales, listening to the show. Coming to now, kick ass. The bands are out of South Africa. Hailing from Africa himself. The Hell Rat. This next song's up for you, dude. It's a song uh, by Two Dogs Funky, and it's a song called Flashback. Gas radio.
That's a band called In Dreams and a song called Never Wake Up, uh, hailing from Centurion in Pretoria, South Africa. 